And now, your first alert weather. It's a nice sunny afternoon across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. We've had a few passing clouds, a couple of light mountain snow showers, but uh, as expected, it's been uh, pretty quiet today with the winds, just cold temperatures, and it's going to get even colder tonight with lows in many spots going close to zero, even sub zero tomorrow morning. We got a few spotty snow showers out there on Viper radar, but nothing uh, really affecting us too bad in terms of heavy snow showers. In fact, we've been just seeing a few of these pockets of light snow in areas of the mountain peaks of central Idaho and then also into the mountains into northern Utah and extreme southern Idaho today. But we're working on fairly quiet, cold conditions for tonight and tomorrow. But as we get into tomorrow afternoon, you'll notice the winds picking up. The clouds will start moving back in and we have a fairly decent sized storm system pegged to get in here by tomorrow night in through Friday and a bit of your Saturday. We expect to see gusty winds and some scattered snow showers coming off of this cold front that's going to be sliding in here again, coming in here for tomorrow night into Friday. Looks like Friday is going to be the worst day, and then we start to get out of this wet weather by Saturday afternoon heading into Saturday, uh, heading into Sunday, excuse me, but we'll be stuck with this cold flow from the northwest with off and on snow showers. I want to show you the wind speeds tonight. Pretty quiet out there and the same speeds here for tomorrow morning, but as we step through past lunch, starting to get into the afternoon. Here come those winds into the teens and 20s. So when I'm going to be on the air with you tomorrow at 5 and 6 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll start to see those winds pick up into the teens and 20s and your gusts approaching 30 miles an hour. It's going to be quite windy going overnight into Friday with the arrival of this cold front. Now let's go to Vipercast tonight. Chilly conditions through tomorrow morning. Not much happening here as you head off to work and school, but when you're starting to come home from work tomorrow, we'll pick up on some clouds and then we start to see hints of snowy weather getting Getting into areas of central Idaho and the Snake Highlands by about four or five o'clock tomorrow afternoon and evening. So as we're getting closer to dinner time tomorrow, that's when we start picking up on scattered snow showers. The snow will be off and on overnight in through Thursday evening to Friday morning with the heavy snow bands, of course, into the higher elevations. Partly mostly cloudy conditions throughout the day on Friday with passing snow showers coming through here with Friday evening showing us a good chance of snow and a few lingering snow showers for Saturday. Snowfall amounts are still looking to be rather thin with this system. Uh, right now the Snake River Plain only looking about an inch on average or less for snowfall amounts Friday. And then we'll pick maybe another inch or two up here for Saturday, especially in the Upper Valley. We do have a winter storm watch for areas of Teton County, Eastern Bonneville County for tomorrow getting into Saturday. But again, this is just a watch for now. And then we had advisories for Western Wyoming, but that's really taking effect here as we go into Thursday evening throughout your day into Friday and then a few of those snow showers into Saturday morning. Minus one in Montpelier tonight with a high uh, into the 20s tomorrow. We'll be down to a minus seven tonight in Jackson. Minus two tonight in Rexburg with six below in St. Anthony and four below in Ashton. We got six tonight in Salmon with six in around for the low tonight. Salmon high of 30 for tomorrow. We're down to about two in Chalice with a high of 29. And Idaho Falls minus two tonight, minus one in Rigby with highs about 25 tomorrow. We should be about 30 degrees tomorrow for Pocatello. Here's your eight day forecast. Highs will be in the mid 20s for Thursday, lower 30s in there for Friday. And then the winds will pick up here with the arrival of the stormy weather for Thursday night heading into Friday. The winds will continue a bit into Saturday morning with temperatures peaking to the upper 20s this weekend. Spotty snow showers Saturday, but we're starting to get out of that storm pattern by Saturday afternoon. By Sunday, it's going to be cold and sunny. Part Pocatello, high of 30 degrees for tomorrow, 34 for Friday, low 30s in there for Saturday. The winds will start picking up here for Thursday evening into Friday. It's going to be windy all Friday long with temperatures around freezing for Saturday. Blackfoot, a high of 28 tomorrow with the winds increasing for Friday. Highs around 34 for Friday and the low 30s for Saturday and Sunday with drier conditions as we head into much, much of next week there with some sunshine. Rexburg, high of 29 for Friday. 28 on Saturday. Uh, partly mostly cloudy conditions lingering about for Sunday with highs hitting the mid to upper 20s. It's going to be cold this weekend with highs barely even getting to 30. Salmon, you have a slight chance of snow here for tomorrow afternoon, but you're really starting to pick up on that snow more into tomorrow evening. Scattered snow showers throughout the day on Friday with a high of 30, 31 on Saturday. Jackson, heavy snow on the way for Friday, Saturday. A few leftover snow showers on Sunday and Monday with highs only into the upper 20s as we close out this week heading into the weekend and overnight lows back into the teens and single digits. So hold on to your hats. It's going to be a windy ride on Friday with the occasional snow shower. Hmm. All right. Hold on to your hats. Yeah, yeah. literally. <laughs> All right.
Thank you so much, Michael. Well, when we come back, now's a good time to take a good hard look at your finances to make sure you are on a path